Hello everybody, thanks for joining me right here on my Rider Guider YouTube channel. Uh, a very quick thanks to all my subscribers, old and new, you're all legends. If you haven't subbed yet, become a legend, please consider pressing that button. Anyway, enough of all that begging bollocks. The channel is now almost three years old and has evolved and continues to evolve into something quite different to what I initially envisaged. One of the things I didn't envisage was the enthusiasm my good lady wife Chantal has recently shown for what I'm doing and as a lot of you will know she decided to learn to ride, get her own bike, the little XT250 and join me. Now she's fast becoming a driving force in a lot of the things we do on the bike and uh, moving forward. So since joining me uh, I've been asked numerous times how we communicate out on the bikes and record our audio and video. Well today I'm going to show you quickly uh, through the cool gadgetry we currently use and how it syncs. If this is bollocks, they're all just sat there doing nothing. And we're going to go for a coffee. Look at you! Oh, that's alright, babe. I don't need help. You, you carry on. <laughs> there you go, right. turn me your bike around. You go, I'm going to follow you down now. And I'm going to talk to you about your position as you're going down. So remember, it, this is just steady away. Oh, she's off. <laughs> <laughs> right, top job. You're looking at third and fourth gear down here, babe. Yeah, I, mean, I think I'm in third at the moment. Third yeah. is, is good for me at the moment. Yeah, that's great. I just feel a bit more control. It's not so... Um, yeah. I do, it's downhill, so fourth it might be better. <laughs> yeah. Oh um, yeah, third was better coming up because, um, yeah. Okay, so communication first. Of course, we need to communicate with each other. We have opted for the Cardo Pack Talk Bold setup. Now, Cardo, for me, is a no-brainer. I'm comparing it to Senna, which is obviously a very similar technology. However, uh, motorcycling by its very nature is an outdoor sport and the Cardo has one major uh, improvement over Senna. In fact, that it is in fact waterproof. How Senna sell their product, I don't know, to an external sport, an outdoor sport that isn't waterproof. Well, that's beyond me. So these are the Cardo Pack Top Bold within the speakers, Chantal's helmet and mine. We've both got the uh, the JBL um upgraded 45 millimeter speakers inside the helmets now line of sight these work fantastic you need the aerials up um, when we get a little bit further apart of course if we needed to we have of course got our mobile phones these jbl these jbl equipped pack talk bold from cardo uh, communicators work well of course uh, as wireless for telephones as well we've got the mouthpiece inside the helmet and uh, both enjoy that facility the um we've both got quad lock uh, mounts i've got the wireless charger as well of course and chantal's got her own quad lock mount here both of them with the anti-vibration dampers so we can in fact communicate by telephone as well uh, if required and that is how we talk back and forth with each other and hear each other through the JBL speakers in the helmet. Now, audio and video for what's attached to my bike. I'll show you how it's attached in a second. Every bike's different and you've got umpteen different ways of mounting your cameras to your bikes and your helmets. We've all been through this over the years, especially if you're a moto vlogger, for example. I've got um, the selfie stick on my T7 and it's, I've got all sorts of uh, bracketry attached to this being an adventure bike. It is in fact um, quite handy. I've got uh, pannier racks which I can use and utilize for mounting the selfie stick and then of course attaching the Insta360 camera which I've got there. Now for audio specifically, we both have what is in fact the Rode Wireless Go 2. Now, for me, this has become the holy grail, I think. This could be the way forward for everybody once uh, uh, it becomes more common knowledge as to how good it is. These are the microphones, completely wireless as per the name, the Rode Wireless Go 2. 
Now, th what, what's so good about this is they both transmit to this little box here, which is the receiver. Now, what's gold about this is because what Insta have done is sync it all together. Now, I'm just going to spin this round. Insta obviously collaborate a little bit with Rode. We've got this thing here. This is a Yolanzi PT20. I haven't got my glasses. Let's have a quick look. Should be able to zoom in and see it. This is um, basically a, a foot that goes below the camera. The Yolanzi PT20 is the bracket and it's made specifically so you can clip your receiver to it. And I'll tell you what, that is as secure as once it's in place, that isn't going anywhere. You've got here the microphone, uh, three and a half millimeter jack, which goes into an, a, 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 basically an adapter, which then connects to the Insta360. What I like about this is, once I've fired these up, and I'll just fire this up now, just get some power into the camera, sorry, into the uh, receiver, which is this item here. As soon as I turn, I'm not gonna go into how, how all these works. There's, there's plenty of videos on there on how these work. I'm just gonna power this one up here. I should get blue lights in a second. There you go, you just get a little blue light with my furry cap. Now, as recording, I'm getting, as you can see on here, I'm getting audio. I'll do the same on Chantal's as well. So you can see it does two channels. Now I'm just gonna fire that up. You should see another light, another one crack up in a minute. There it is, so bang. Bang, bang. So you see the top and the bottom on that line there. Now, it's wizardry for me. It's bloody amazing stuff. I've got both these now recording. Chantal has one, I have the other. And as long as we're in oh, half a K of this transmitter, sorry, of this receiver, it will record to this. And so if I just press a quick go on this camera, now what will happen is, these will both now be recording the audio straight to the video on this camera. So what will happen is, I can just stand here now and it syncs it all. It makes me head explode. It's almost like, as I said, the holy grail for what we're trying to achieve. With these things I've added tethers. So obviously the wireless, they're not cheap. The whole setup for these in Australia, uh, I think it was about three hundred and ninety nine dollars for the for the wireless go to setup. I spent must be seven eight hundred dollars on this kit here on the Insta three hundred and sixty. But it all works together. Um, it's bloody awesome. So you get all sorts of options. It's mind blowing. Now what I do with these little tethers here, I've got um, a zip on a jacket, and the tether then attaches to this, and I just basically shove that up inside my chin piece. And it stays there um, on, on the helmet. It is, in fact, completely wireless. I love it. And the only thing I've found is I'm, I'm used to talking to like, talk, talking louder. And I'm finding I think the audio is a bit louder. I need to be a bit less, I suppose I'm talking into it, a bit less um, verbal, really, uh, and noisy. I can just talk normally, regardless of what speed I'm doing on the bike. And it just picks me up. These are that good quality. So that's the setup we use. Um, so at that point now, we've got communication between each other. We can be miles apart. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned as well, we've found it is that if we get out of range of this, these are still recording. So you can still sync it up later. So we can be two Ks apart. I was riding a few weeks ago and let Chantal go ahead and she's disappeared into the distance. We were miles apart and she's still recording. And I also recorded, we could still sing the audio later if we needed to. But the benefit of having it all connected here via this mic adapter and this little thing here, which goes into here, it just keeps it all, it's a one audio, one, one video job, even though these are a separate company, separate item, they've synced them together with the Yolanzi bracket and um, away you go. It's brilliant. The, the fact is now I've got no camera on my helmet and it works very well indeed i am so pleased to have less stuff on my helmet less wire and i can have this of course with the selfie stick on the back of the bag which i'll show you now 
So here's the T7. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a bit of Meccano, if you like. Pannier racks, etc. crash bars. Um, let's start around the front here, tripping up. Now, here, you can't possibly see there, I've got Nurb One's wonderful super bracket here. I'll put a link to his video. He's created this for the T7. Instead of just having that 11 or 12 mil tube here, we've got a thicker version which he's created and it basically gives you more mounting options up here which are a bit stronger. I've taken the screen off to show you. And this bracket here sits in behind and it's actually redu it reduces, it actually removes the uh, vibration of the clocks which some people get because the clocks are all rubber mounted and um, some people don't like that on the T7. Didn't bother me in the slightest. I just wanted this bracket just so to give me some extra options for mounting up here. And as you can see, I've got the RAM mount ball there. I can utilize that for my Insta360 camera. Back to the rear, I'll show you how I've mounted the selfie stick here. And I'm using, again, a RAM mount bracket, RAM ball here and extension here now what i've done because i ride off road uh, if i was on road i wouldn't really too much but i wanted this not if i'm do, get to up, up to any speed and i'm just using um a, a ram ball i tend to the, the thing tends to lean back if you get to 70 or 80 mile an hour or whatever the wind blows it out of proportion out of, out of place so what i've done i've mounted it in a way where it fixes it so if i nip that up now you can see it's not going to go anywhere because I've got it against the indicator and I've also put a tie wrap across here to stop it going left and right. It's a bit crude, but it actually works very well. And I've got no fore and aft movement or lateral and it works a treat. And now with the selfie stick, of course, I can go really high once I've learned that video. I've got my hands full here, but you can extend this uh, selfie stick well high right above my head um you can see from the, this video here i'll show you now so there you go that's pretty much our setup um I reckon that's the holy grail at the moment. I think that's as good as you can possibly get. I get good footage from the Insta360. I get to record my audio directly via the Rode Wireless Go 2 audio setup, and it works a treat. We can communicate well with the Cardos, either be it via telephone call, conversation between each other, or via the uh, line of sight, which Cardo gives us, and that's another option. It's a great setup, it may evolve even more. Um, what I like about it, again, it's just the wireless and the, the syncing, it's just, a, it's cool, it works well, and uh, it isn't cheap. And I don't think anything is uh, when you start adding it all up, and I'm not gonna add it up. It's cost too much money, this game, but I still love it. And luckily, I've got Mrs. Rider Guider on board, so I don't have to hide what I'm spending anymore. <laughs> Roger that. Thank you for watching, everybody. See us on the next one. Cheers.